Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I want to tackle another baby subject and it's something that people often comment about. So I'm gonna read a comment to you. It's Musta Johanna and she asks, being pregnant right now myself, I really look forward to hearing how you deal with all the baby stuff. I still have four months to go and I'm already debating whether or not I have too many baby items. <laughs> well, chances are you probably do. And uh, I do too, because it's so easy to get too much. You have so many things and it's so cute. And also, you just never know what you can need. So you test and you try different things and everything just accumulates and it's everywhere if you're not doing anything about it. So what I want to do in this video is actually not to give a lot of advice. I just want to show you what I do for storage of the things that I need to uh, get rid of like sell or donate whenever I find some of Max's things that, that he's outgrown or we don't use them anymore So what I do for storage what kind of a system and then just how much I've actually accumulated I think I've gotten rid of a few things This past almost year. He's 11 months now So it's really time for me to start Getting some stuff out of here because I feel like it's getting a little bit too cramped in his little room Let's get started Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff here, at least that's what I feel like. I am probably going to sell most of this. I want to walk just roughly through everything. This one is a trash can that we got, it's like a diaper uh, trash can. And it's practical that it's high, but it's really... You need special bags and stuff for this. So we just use a very simple uh, trash can right now. It's this high, it has like a flip top and it's super easy. So we just take all the stinky diapers, put them in, wrap them in individual plastic bags, put them in there and then we empty it once a day. I find that that works a lot better and it's a lot cheaper and easier than this thing. So I have to get rid of this. We also have his blanket that he used to lay on and I don't know if I'll keep this as a keepsake. I might sell it it's all been washed, so it's all ready to go. He's obviously not using this anymore. He actually just took his first steps yesterday, and he's not sitting still. He's been crawling for months, and he's all over the place. So this will not be used anymore. So that can be used by some other baby. This little foldable book, I think they call it like a book. Um, I don't know, but I used it in the beginning when he was lying around. So I just sit it up like this so he could look around at all the pictures. And the funny thing is that he would always be scared of, oh, this dude. The farmer on the tractor was apparently very scary when he was only two months old, which is kind of funny. But it's just been washed and it hasn't really been used that much, so this one will go be passed on to another baby as well. When we first had Max, we wanted a portable bed for him. And I heard of this tent through some friends, and they used it for their babies and they loved it, so they recommended it, and I just went out and bought it. It just hasn't really worked out as well as I hoped it would. It was great for the first two months, but after that, it's this, Max moves around a lot when he sleeps, and I don't know if you've ever seen it folded out, but it's kind of, like it's big, and then it has a zipper, so you have to kind of unzip it every time, and that zipper is really loud. <laughs> and if your baby is fast asleep, that's fine. But if you kind of want to calm him down, give him his binky or something, and then just have to gently pull away, it's kind of difficult because you can't leave it unzipped because then he can roll out. And also, this leaves him basically sleeping on the floor if you can't find a table or something to put him on. So this one is definitely not staying. We're selling it. He moves around a lot when he sleeps and it's kind of loud. So the noise wakes him up and he wants to stand up all the time now and it's not high enough for that. I would actually recommend that you test out a few different beds. If you have friends that already have uh, portable baby beds, just borrow it for a weekend and then you can test it out. That's what we did now. We're considering purchasing another bed. We need something. 
Uh, so we just borrowed my sister's for the weekend, and I'm really grateful. Um, and it worked out good, so I'm still not completely sure what we're going to go with, but this one is out for sure. I'm not nursing anymore, so the breast pump has to leave too. I have so much clothes, and my system has actually kind of been that I've put everything in here because it fits under his bed. So this whole thing is just stuffed full of baby clothes. Uh, this is... And then it kind of started spilling over, so I put some on top of there in a box. And uh, so all of this he's not using anymore. He's outgrown it, or yeah, most of it. He's outgrown it, all of it. Um, so I need to sell that as well. I have these bags of socks that he's not using. Uh, some binkies that I'm not sure he used these. I think we just got them as a present. Um, so I'm gonna try and sell those as well. Um, the clothes, I have to go through it to check what I want to keep as keepsakes because I don't want to get rid of all of it. I think it's so cute. Some of the items from when he was very little, look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go through it and uh, probably go through it a few times before getting down to a number that's manageable but this has been kind of a system that I keep in the drawers the stuff that fit and the next few sizes up the stuff that we actually use is mostly in the bathroom right by the change station so this one is just stored under his bed and then every time I have something that's getting too small I just put it back in there and then that's kind of what I want to stick with whatever can fit in this one is fine but all of this extra stuff not so much. Then it starts to become just clutter and stressing me out. So this one, that's what my, my goal is. In this bag, I have kind of extra things for, this is for his uh, car seat, the baby insert. And he's outgrowing his car seat, not yet. He still has like a few pounds to go before we have to find a new one. But I'm keeping this one for when I sell that. And then we also have the infant insert um, for the baby carrier. Uh, we use the Ergo Baby and we really love it. It's really good now because if he has a day where he's kind of whiny and not really uh, feeling the whole thing, then and I have stuff that I have to do, then I can just put him on and he can vacuum clean with me or bake or do whatever and it works out. And so when he gets too big, obviously we have to sell this thing and I want to do so, but we lost this little pillow thing that sits down here. I think it just fell out somehow of our, like, from our luggage when we were in the States because we used it out there. So this little missing pillow is probably in Florida. Enjoy the weather! <laughs> Under the bed I still have some things um, stored that I can't get rid of yet. There's a diver bag part, like a case that comes with the baby stroller and there's also a lift insert um, for that stroller so when he's done using that that's a baby carriage so when he's done using that then I want to sell the whole thing together so I, I have to store it until then which is kind of annoying but it's just part of the game and I folded it together as much as possible I kind of have this goal of everything that belongs to Max any like accessories and stuff for anything that's his kind of has to be stored in his room because we don't have extra space anywhere else in the apartment really that's the goal anyway so far we've been kind of successful so that's good in this box I think I have more clothes yep stuff that he's outgrown. See, I need to be able to fit everything in this thing because this is just a mess and I don't like it. <laughs> but we have these extra boxes that are empty and it's really nice to be able to get things out of the way and I still know where I have things, how much I have, so I just, it's not everywhere. I just want to keep it down a bit. In this box I have everything about Max. I have the stuff that he was baptized in. Look at these cute little pants. I'm never gonna get rid of this. This is the shirt that we uh, we used when we told uh, Morton and my parents that we were expecting. So that was their Christmas present. And uh, his little shoes that he wore 
for uh, weddings and stuff this past year. Really, really cute. A card and some birthday cards from things we got when we got him. I also have my ultrasound pictures on here. I want to keep those. I want to make like a baby book for him and put some things in there. I just haven't decided yet what to do. And uh, yeah, becoming a new mom is very overwhelming. Let me just tell you that. It's super enjoyable, but there's also so many things that you have to get used to. Having a goal of what you want and how you want to keep things down or do things in a certain way is really awesome. I think it's great and I think it's it's good and almost necessary, but you have to not be too hard on yourself if you're not reaching all of your goals. And to me that's obvious, but I still feel like I have to sometimes be like graceful towards myself. I just don't get everything done right away. <laughs> I'm not perfect, very few people are. So every once in a while for me, things are gonna pile up a little bit and then I'm gonna try and just get rid of stuff. Have a plan, but really just take it as it comes. Buy some things that you think might work out, borrow it, and then if it doesn't work out, bad luck. <laughs> you just have to be okay with that's a factor. You can't hit it on the head every time. We have a really great app here in Denmark that's called ReShopper. It's this app where you can sell and buy baby items. So everything related to babies. And it's only between private people. I've bought a few things on there and it's all used stuff and it's really handy. So I think most of the clothes are probably gonna go on there. And I know they're branching out so they might be in most of Scandinavia. I think they're in the Netherlands and the UK. I don't know what you have available where you are, whatever country. You have in the US Craigslist. Um, you might be able to go to like a garage sale. What I plan to do is that I'm gonna sell these things, put the cash in a jar, and then every time I need something new for Max, then I have that money. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any tips on where other people and other moms might be able to sell, resell their stuff, then please leave a link in the comments because there are moms from all over the world watching these videos and what kind of services we get in different countries might vary so if you can all share them down there they might be flagged as spam but then I'll just go in and mark them not as spam <laughs> please leave them down there so everyone can benefit from it we have some things in Denmark, uh, in Scandinavia, the rest of Europe might have something different parts of Asia uh, and the US. There are so many different options out there so please leave them down below uh, for other moms to use. Hope you liked this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!